Hi! This Friday we're going to feature our sling of the month, which is the new Love and Carry Full Buckle Carrier. So this is a lovely, fully adjustable carrier that does from newborn up to age two. So that's 3.5 kilograms up to about 15 kilograms. So we're going to have a wee closer look at this. You can see it's a lovely structured, it's very, very soft, lovely, a little bit of padding on here at the leg panels, um, and lovely and light, and very, very lightweight as well. That's what you can tell by holding it first. You've got, you've got a lovely waistband, which is sort of th on the thinner side, I would say, than most buckle carriers, but it still has a lovely structure and it's not too thick but still nice and soft and padded as well and you can see these wee two clips at the bottom we're going to go over that in a wee minute so for adjusting the width on the base here we have on a slider and on the inside is velcro on the inside of that slider so you're just going to release it release the velcro and then slide it to the width that you need. So I'm going to be using it as a small doll first. So we're going to make it quite small. And whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. So it's nice and symmetrical. So now I've made that nice and small on my waist. And you can see it extends further as well for bigger kids. So I'm going to put it on first, so I'm going to have it with the ruched part facing out, I'm going to rotate the waistband and put it on. I'm putting it behind my back just so I've got two hands to see my buckle. You're going to put it through the elastic and then click. On the waistband there's a three point release buckle which is nice and safe as well. Just remember that you have to press that third button when you release. The buckles are a lovely lightweight um, grey plastic which stops any bulk feeling or heaviness on the waist. So I'm going to put it on my waist and I want it to be nice and horizontal so it's not pulling my shoulders or my hips down. So I'm just tightening it up and then we're going to bring it up and have a look. So my height is still quite big, I'm just going to put the hood away. So on the front here, we have adjusters at the top. So by pulling these, this now folds and makes the height of the panel a lot smaller. So you can see now we've made it super small at the waist and small at the height for smaller babies. For the straps, again, lovely and soft. You can see how nice and squishy they are. A nice thickness and the padding is slightly longer so that buckle is going to come further back down and the padding will go further over your shoulder. So on the straps you can have them crossed on your back or you can have them straight. It depends what you find more comfortable and as well if you're swapping between carriers, <laughs> if you're swapping between um, who's carrying then you can choose what option is more comfortable. So I'm going to get ready for my dog. I'm going to have it midway on my waist and I'm going to take my I'm going to take my baby so I'm placing my baby on my chest at a nice height so that baby's head is on the flat of my chest and baby's bum is supported I'm supporting baby's bum and I'm going to scoop the carrier up to the back of baby's neck and you can see with adjusting the height and the width this is now a lovely perfect size for my baby so from babies from newborn up to four months you're going to use these lower buckles here so they're under the leg so we're going to cross the straps I'm putting one over my shoulder swapping hands I'm going to reach back bring that round and I'm going under baby's bum and I'm going to buckle it in place. So I'm still keeping one hand on baby, but you can use two hands if needed. So now that's buckled in. There we are. I'm going to do the 
same with the other side. So swap hands on baby. You can extend the palm of the strap here. So if you feel like you need it a wee bit longer, you just release, make it longer, and then bring it round. Again, pull it down, round, under baby's leg, and into this buckle. Here. So to tighten it up, I'm going to feel back and then tighten it here. Hello. Hello. Okay. So I'm just pulling both straps behind to tighten up. So the buckle clips in here at the front, under baby's legs and comes across. Yeah. And, here. and you can see by doing that wee movement, it allows that slack to move out to where you need it to be. So that's all nice and secure. I'm just going to do my checks. So baby's face is free and clear. Baby's head is nice and supported. The fabric is folded nicely so it's not buckled um, too much lumps and bumps behind baby's neck. And this is the hood just hanging down. Baby's hands are up. There. Baby is nice and supported on the back. The fabric goes into baby's knee pits and I'm just going to go in and do a nice wee pelvic tuck to make sure that bum's nice and low in the knees and the knees can move freely. So this is the Love and Carry Buckle Carrier, um, the One Plus, and this is on the smallest size with a smaller baby with the lower buckles. Okay. So this is where you do a front carry only with your smaller baby. And then once they're a bit bigger, we can move on to other carries. So we're going to have a look at that now. Okay, so I've taken the baby out and now I'm going to adjust for a bigger child. So I'm going to start at the waist. I'm going to extend these straps and put them on their widest setting on both sides. So nice and symmetrical. Again, facing out with the label. And then I'm going to rotate the waistband onto me. Bring it round and buckle. You go now. Bringing that round to the front and I'm loosening it off a wee bit so I can bring it a bit lower. So as my child is bigger, his bum is going to be lower so the waistband needs to be a bit lower. But it's still nice and horizontal so it's not pushing down my shoulders or my hips. Also, for my height, I need to make this a bit bigger, so I'm just going to extend it out to where I need, and whatever you do one side, you do the other, so it's nice and symmetrical, so you've got that nice straight line across the top. I'm extending my straps a bit, and I'm going to put it on with my Just getting them seated. Bringing the panel up as before, up to the back of his neck, and you can see that lovely width at the bottom of his bum. Kind of over my shoulder. Come round, and this time I'm going to be buckling here. So you can see the straps, they tidy away really nicely when they're not in use, and then they just pop out. I'm just going to pull in here and pull in round to the opposite side to tighten and I'm just taking that slack off while I get the other strap. Swap hands, again, pull that strap down, round, pop out my buckle at the side, clip in and my strap is going to tighten here. Across the way, the both sides to tighten. <laughs> oh no! Okay. There we are. Just tighten and up on both sides. Uh oh. There we are. So you can 
can see the width is nice so he can make freely move his legs the buckled is in at the side and the straps are crossed on me what I really like is the buckle at the back so you can see here where I put my thumb in there it's got a really nice sort of deep dip um, so you can get your thumb in, which is really easy for flicking up if you have issues with buckles. Oh dear. Yeah. And then we're going to put you on my hip. So here we have a hip carry and as you can see, it's great for feeding as well. So I've got a lovely hood here, which is a great size, especially for older kids. And when it's up, you would only clip on one side, so it just attaches to the shoulder clip. Um, and you would only do one side so you can see baby's face is free and clear at all times. And then once you're done, we're going to look at our back, Kelly. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So we have a lovely comfy back, Carrie, as well. So there's lots of options. It's such a great, comfortable carrier that's going to last you a huge chunk of your baby carrying journey. So. Enjoy and have a wee look on the website and any questions feel free to ask. You say bye-bye? Bye-bye.